Hopkins softball team edged Edina 4-3 Wednesday to improve to 4-6 and six this season. The Royals are hoping to make it another memorable season when all is said and done. The Hopkins Royals have plenty of new faces, and it's led to an uneven start. But they like the chance to grow into new roles. We have a really young team this year, which I think is definitely going to be beneficial as far as uh, people growing into new positions. Um, and a lot of us are playing newer positions this year, so I think that'll be really fun to see how everyone grows into their spot. And I think it's definitely really promising. The Royals are led by Gopher recruit Natalie Den Hartog, a super talented shortstop who is also pitching this season. They have a few other key returners from last year, too. The Royals have been in the past two state tournaments. And though their record isn't great right now, they are still a top contender in Section 6 again. And winning it is a prime goal. It's a lot different knowing what it feels like to get there and wanting to feel that feeling again. And just knowing what it takes to get there also and know that you don't have to play outside of yourselves. And I mean, we, we know that we can play our game and still get there and it's a good feeling. I think it pushes us to try to meet that goal again. Like we have the same goals as we did last year. Like we're ready for Cato round three. Like that's where we're at, trying to go as a team. For sure, I think there's a lot of expectation. Um, I think it really it helps boost our confidence for sure. But we've also tried hard not to become complacent in our play and our practice and just trying to get there again. And, you know, it's definitely a goal that we keep uh, that's important to us. And so it is something we strive for. They'll take a few losses along the way, but Hopkins is aiming to get better every day and be set to shine at section time. The Royals are at Armstrong Friday, then play in the Eastview Tournament on Saturday.